down now we're expecting about 90 schools at least who are marching showing their school pride their school colors uh, we've inducted our inductees Herman Badillo, Jerry Vale, Ed Lewis and Joni Madden we're gonna end up with a great festival and a great concert I'm just so happy it's been a lot of hard work we've had wonderful uh, volunteers we've had great uh, sponsors from institutions here in the Bronx and it's just another exciting year can you tell us about the main events that took place this past week We've had a banker's breakfast where over 400 bankers came and we had a conversation about them investing and continue to invest in the Bronx. We've had a forum on home foreclosure. We've had Senior Citizen Day, Youth Day, Environmental Day, um, um, Health Day. Uh, we've just had a myriad of different events, festivities, uh, substantive conversation. It's just been an amazing. We call it Bronx Week, but it's really 12 days of, of uh, planning and events. And I'm just so happy that uh, it's culminated to this great crescendo of a parade that we're having today. What should people expect to see in this parade? In this parade, we're going to expect to see our future. If we're celebrating Bronx Week, it's because of all of the talent and the achievements that we've seen in the past here in the Bronx. And that's all laying down a foundation so that our future generations could continue to move forward and continue to be those future inductees that we want here. So get a load to this. You're going to see our, our students in the Bronx march. They are the future. They are the reason why we do all of this.
name is Dave Laguerre. I'm the commanding officer of the New York Gray Cadets. And what exactly is the Gray Cadets, sir? Uh, well, we are basically a youth organization that's designed to help our community's youth um, become leaders and um, have some structure in their lives before they become adults. Also, is this a program meant to design people to basically enter as enlisted members, or ROTC members, or it's just a discipline issue? It can assist them if that's what they choose to do. It will help them get into the armed forces, but basically it's just a, a very helpful to help them enter life in general. Uh, thank you, sir, very much. And also the founder and chairman of Essence Magazine, Ed Lewis. Yeah. The Grammy Award winning Joni Madden and Cherish the Lady. The Romantic Melody and Jerry Bell. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for our 2010 Bronx Walk of Fame inductee. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our inductees to the Bronx Walk of Fame. I'm here with Joni Madden. She was actually one of the inductees this week. Can you tell us a little about your experience? Well, I'll tell you what, but for a day that's supposed to be pouring rain, the sun, the mother nature, look down on the Bronx today, give us a shiny day. I'm very excited. I, I grew up on the Woodlawn section of the Bronx. I play Irish music. And, um, Got my name, my name on the street this week, and I'll tell you, how, how, that's the highest honor I could feel. I'm very proud of being from the Bronx, and very proud of where I come from, and hopefully I'm, I'm a good ambassador for the Bronx wherever I go, and I'm very proud to share this day with my fellow inductees. Today we honor them. We also celebrate our future generations walking this parade, and we know that many of them will be our future inductees to the Bronx Walk of Fame which are individuals who have called the Bronx their home, individuals who have worked here and have gone on to do tremendous things and are our ambassadors. Let's give it up for our 2010 Bronx Walk of Fame inductees, Herman Barillo, Ed Lewis, Joni Madden, and Jerry Bell. Crespo, and can you tell us about um, the parade? It's a fantastic day where we celebrate the Bronx. This is a culmination of a week long of events with Bronx Week. I did an assembly resolution with my assembly colleagues commemorating this week. And today is a parade. You're going to see participation by our students, schools, uh, community groups, churches, you name it. If the Bronx is in the house, we're here in Mashula Park. We're going to have a fantastic day, a fantastic celebration of the Bronx. Are you impressed by the turnout? Absolutely. I mean, even with the threat of some weather, people are here, they're celebrating, there's a good spirit, there's a good atmosphere, and we're going to have a great time. My name is Tawana Dimash, and we're from CS300. It's a sister program. Uh, well, sister program is a conflict resolution program. It's, it's mixed with the rites of passage. Um, it's, it's called Sister, Inspiring Sisters to Achieve Higher. As you see, it's a bunch of girls. We're um, helping them to deal with conflict resolution, giving them solutions on better ways to find, you know, better ways to deal with their problems. And we also teach them how to be ladies. We show discipline. We put on performances, and they love to step.
Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz formed this African Council. Thank you. The council has already conducted a number of outreach events which addresses including uh, civil rights and the census 2000. Organization of New York, Mandingo. Thank you, thank you to the African Council, Advisory Council. We have some of our elected officials here. We have with us District Leader Kenny Agosto. Burning calories, walking for a second time. It's still burning, right? <laughs> we have a young new vibrant assemblyman, Marco Crespo. We have State Committeeman, Joe McManus. We have State uh, District Leader, Female District Leader, Cynthia Cox. And our great majority leader in the New York City Council, Joel Rivera. Yeah. Uh, we have to see the culture, the heritage, you know, taste the cuisine and see the businesses that are, you know, setting up shop within the Bronx community and celebrate pretty much, you know, the 1.4 million people that live within our, within our neighborhoods. It's an amazing time to really appreciate where we come from. You know, every event, it was a great event. Everything highlighted something different. We had health, which was a major aspect as a, as a city council member and a chair, uh, former chair of the health committee and member of the health committee. And that's something that we always pay a lot of attention to. And being that the Bronx has the highest rates of asthma, highest rates of childhood obesity and diabetes, health is always a major thing. Next up, the American Eagle Force Cadet Unit. Here they are. Dedicated to teaching pride, promoting integrity, and education for the youth of today to become the leaders of tomorrow. The American Eagle Force Cadet Unit. All right, these are our future. This is the future. Look at this, nice and disciplined. Let's give it up, guys. Come on. Look how great they look. Their motto is, pain is temporary and pride is forever. And the sun is coming out. You see that? There you it's go. It's a great sunny day in the Bronx. The star of the sea, the Sea Cadet Corps. All right. Community School District 12. All right, Judy. District 12. And 217. All right. 217. Leaders.com. And PS1, the Portland School. Let's give it up. Look at our schools here. This is our future. This is to let the world know the Bronx, the future of the Bronx is in great hands. And that's the Cougar Cheerleading Squad. They said, if you choose it, it will happen. We believe that all dreams can be achieved when you try and work hard. Monroe College! Monroe College! We were Gary Axelbank. Gary, how are you? The United Federation of Teachers are in the house. All right, let's give it up our teachers. Celebrating over 50 years. Our teachers, come on, guys. I'm talking about.
Working it out, working it out. Public School 42. All right, let's give it up, let's give it up. Thank you. Aerobic dance Thank you. Public School. Way to keep our kids healthy as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we've also been joined by the public advocate of the city of New York, Bill de Blasio. Thank you, Mr. Public Advocate. Let's give it up. Thank you for being with us on Bronx Week. Thank you for being there last night. Thank you, Mr. Public Advocate. Who do we have here, Dr. Lee? Harry S. Truman High School Mustang Marching Band and Air Force JROTC. All right. They helped us kick off Bronx Week at the James Madison Bridge for the centennial celebration of the bridge. 12 days ago, we kicked off with the Mustangs. Let's give it up for PS94 Step Team. P.S. 
PS 107, Soundview section of the Bronx. I know a little bit about Soundview. Big stage over there where there's gonna be lots of entertainment on stage. Ishmael Miranda's gonna be there, the Sugar Hill Gang, George Lamont, and Cynthia all performing. All that coming your way in a little while. Stand by.
see you. All right. Thank you guys. Make some noise. Do what I did. Make some noise. Education is key. That's the National Honor Society. Oh. National Honor Society, Preston High School. Thank you, Preston, for being with us. What school is it? Preston! What school? Preston! What school? Preston! Post Coast Community College! Post Coast! Affinity Health Plan! All right! Dedicated to excellence. Let's give it up for PS 121. Such good energy in the Bronx. There's such a sense of pride. I was at the Bronx Wall last night, you know, celebrating people who have come out of the Bronx and really changed the world. So it's an amazing week of activities, and I, you know, you can just tell people are feeling really good today. This is one of the most visible outreach components of the Bronx Lebanon Hospital Center. Unit is all over the place. It offers free screenings to community residents. It tests for high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, and the whole nine. There we go. The Bronx Lebanon Hospital Center. Fast Signs, Asta, services for children and families. Organización Hondureña, los hondureños contra la SIDA, o el SIDA. Hondureños contra el SIDA. Thank you for joining us. Casa Urumi. This is our growing, strong Garifuna community. Uh, look at how colorful and beautiful our Garifuna community is. Jose, thank you, Jose. Look at this, a beautiful Garifuna community. This shows the diversity of the Bronx. Garifuna's big in the Bronx. This is our second year participating as the Garifunas, and I represent the Garifuna community here in, in the Bronx, which is the largest Garifuna community in the world. And this has been fantastic. It's a good way to express the pride of our heritage. Absolutely. We, of course, the most difficult thing is finding the cultural the pro appropriate representation. And in this case, we were able to find a group that represents a multi-generational Garifuna group and plays all the types of Garifuna music, arts, and that, we, that represents the Garifuna culture. But it's a great experience. You know, it's, we're proud to represent our heritage again. So it's a great opportunity for us, and we don't mind the preparations.
Girls Club, the Boys Club, you got the honor roll, very good. The parents and teachers are all walking together with PS 178. 100% attendance. And to the parents, let's give it up to the parents. The parents make some noise. Indeed. La Escuela Comunal 211. Bilingüe. Bilingüe. Uno se lo Bilingüe. We have grandmama here. <laughs> How many grandmamas are here today? Where are all the grandmamas? Let's give it up for, to the abuelitas, the grandmamas. Yeah. You know, family schools and new schools, the new public school in the South Bronx, they adhere to rigorous inquiry based learning environment, which is based on a nurturing home. That's Thank you. About. Thank you, the family school.
Um, we do a talent enhancement workshop with students at Bronx Community College and, um, and also outside. Um, other students and other CUNY members come and we're a part of so many things. Um, yeah, and our main goal is to bond the urban community and especially the college community and come together as one and, and create and innovate anything that you want, anything that's your will. You know what I'm saying? So come to Bronx Community and ask for urban unity. What's up? We're here today with Eduardo Morta. Can you tell us a little bit about the school? Uh, we're located on 120 West 231st Street. We're the new school for leadership and journalism. We're a six to eight school. We have our dancers here, we have our cane team, our cadets, and we have some sixth graders here representing the Stars Academy in the sixth grade. We're in a group called American National Ballroom Dancers. We learn the merengue, the salsa, the swing, the fox trot, and we also learn the tango. So I'm very excited because we won gold in the national championship, and we're going to the finals June 23rd. Okay. Oh, and 
and your volleyball team too. We were skating all up and down, and then we saw a nice group of people that wanted us to join them, and I have no problem doing that. Um, we're here just having fun, trying to join the festival and all that. We're here representing for Bronx Network. I'm just here just to have fun with my crew. We're here, we got Johnson, we have Day Day. We have Keitha, and all we're doing is just trying to have fun, skate, and just enjoy life. Because you know you only live in once. They were interested in that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So today is the best time you've been here, right? It's the best day ever. The Bronx Center for Sciences and Mathematics is committed to providing a superior educational experience to public school children. You guys go ahead. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Science and Mathematics. ABK. For my sponsors. Thank you, ABK. They put their money where their mouth is. They are sponsors here for Bronx Week. Gracias. Thank you for everything that you do. We couldn't do this Bronx Week without your financial assistance. And serving the Boogie Down Bronx for over 60 So remember, years. That, remember that name. Remember those letters. A B K. And of course, we have Mr. Max Navi Yay! and the Bronxnet crew. Bronxnet. Also a championship hand wrestler, too. Justin, I saw you the papers today. That's one of our fantastic sponsors. Graffiti Nation. They just started a new uh, youngsters program, too, May 20th. So make sure you tune into that. Bronxnet Channel 67. <laughs> Well, I made some arrangements with Mother Nature. I had to, uh, you know, we had to work out something with her, but she, she's happy now. And, you know, I did what I had to do, you know, to, 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 to make her uh, change her mind and give us a beautiful day. And I said, we're going to bring some color to the, to the parade and, you know, we can push away those gray clouds with some luscious lavender and deep, mysterious purples, you know. <laughs> Bronxboro President Ruben Diaz Jr. knows how to celebrate and here we are at the culmination of Bronx Week and it is one of the most vibrant Bronx Day parades I can remember. Well, we're here just to support all the, the parents and the grandparents, as you see I'm grandmama, all the parents, you know, to, to be here with your children. We're here with Barana Nanda. Can you tell us a little bit about your organization? Yes, uh, the organization. Organization of Krishna Consciousness, AC Bhatti Vendor Swami Prabhupada, he came over here in 1977. He had a Ratha Yatra up on Fifth Avenue. From that time, he had every year, they, this is going to be in June 12th of Fifth Avenue. They're going to have a Ratha Yatra. They go to uh, that Western Square Park. There, they feed thousands of people. They have a festival of India there. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on behind us? 
this is called a Rathiatra or a procession of Lord Juggernaut. Lord Juggernaut is on this cart here. He's on the far right. Very unusual looking form with big eyes. And in the middle is his sister, Subhadra. And on the far left is uh, Balaram. <laughs> Boys and girls, this young man right here went to your school and he became the founder and president of Essence Magazine, a magazine that is known throughout the world. He's inducted to the Bronx Walk of Fame today. He's one of our 2010 honorees. Would you like to address your governors, Mr. Ed Lewis? You do me proud. I'm a proud graduate of Dewey Clinton High School. The best. Thank you. This is a great day. I, I'm glad that is, the rain hasn't come down yet. I hope it comes down at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, God has been good to this, to us in the Bronx and this great parade. It's fantastic. It's, it keeps getting better every year. So many participants, so many schools, so many children. It is a great day for a parade. Let's give it up for Assemblyman Jose Rivera, another pioneer who has opened doors for many of us who are young in the Puerto Rican community. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Herman had to leave earlier. Danny was coming. Thank you, Jose. Danny Ma is coming. Danny Ma Productions is coming. Danny Ma! Guys, come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's clap it up. Let's 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 thank you, thank you. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. Come on, guys, let's clap it up for the Dynamo Productions. Aren't they great? Those are our babies. They can dance, man. They can dance. Here comes the Bronx School of Law and Finance. Bronx School of Law and Finance. That's right, Dr. Lee. These are our future lawyers, accountants, Wall Street execs. See, Wall Street got it all wrong. We're going to show them how to do it right with We're going to send them future Bronxite Wall Street execs coming out of this school. More stepping. Stepping is it? Stepping. Project. These are our kids. These are our babies. Let's clap it up for them. And Highbridge Community Life Center. Thank you, guys. There we go. Make some noise. That's an electric power truck. You gotta plug it up when it gets back. But it's cleaning the environment. That's Keep right. the environment clean, everyone. Recycle. Keep the environment nice and healthy for all of us. I'm sitting in my 
living room. These things do some amazing things, I tell you. We're here today with students from Morris Academy. Can you tell us a little bit about your display? Um, okay, it's a robot. We competed in competitions. Um, we competed in the New York Regional, the Philadelphia Regional. And basically, our robot, it kicked, it, we built it to compete in the soccer game. So it kicks soccer balls into gold. And we also compete with other robots across the United States and other countries and continents over the world. Our team number is 395. And the name of our team is called Two Train Robotics. We have sponsors such as the Children's Hospital, um, Newport Authority of New York and New Jersey, the Yankees, um, Columbia, and of course our logo first, which is the company organization that we're under. First stands for um, first, first Inspiration in Robotics, Second Science and Technology, Recognition Science and Technology. How long did it take you guys to build this robot? Um, we have build season from like beginning of January to like February. So like a, a month and two weeks. We can't even see a videotape. Any of you young ladies out there want to learn how to self-defense if you get home late from work or from school, reach out to WESDA, W-E-S-D-A, the Women's Empowerment Self-Defense Academy. Wepa! Mr. Chairman, I think I think she's going to go there. You got to be careful, Mr. Chairman. But then the big bullies come, they get the little one. Oh! 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 oh. Let's give it up to Wednesday. You gonna hit me with the verse? Yeah. yeah, let's go, Urban Unity. How we roll, how we ride on our way um, yeah. to, to the, the top. top. Yeah, yeah. I said, this is how we roll, this is how we ride. Shooting for the stars, you know we gonna reach the sky. I believe in the unity. We gonna spread positivity through the community. You know this ain't new to me. The lyrics just stay true to me. Music is my shorty, know I gotta keep my boo with me. See, I vibe with the best. Any other artists wanna put us to the test? Catch up on your rest, cause the music is unstoppable. Energy developed from the enemy. Can't keep friends with no enemies. Coming to you straight from BCC. I wanna give a big shout out to Urban Unity, cause we here to win. Take it with the gold to unite. With the crazy lyrics, what the we freestyle that we write Anyone who hear us know we going to the top Cause we're a positive movement that can never be stopped how Urban roll, unity Yeah How, how we ride, ride. Yeah On uh -huh. our way On our way On our way To, to the, the top. top Yeah Urban unity BCC Holla overflow Barnacle Bill What it is Thanks y'all Thanks Bronx Net Peace Verizon Another proud sponsor Bronx Week Oh yeah Verizon before, thank you Verizon, hold the trolley for a minute. Hold the trolley for a minute. Thank you Verizon, thank you for sponsoring. Ladies and gentlemen, before we, be, before we finish the parade, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. I want to thank the Bronx Overall Economic Development Corporation, my staff, the Bronx Tourism Council, all of the volunteers. I want to thank Parks Department. I want to thank all of the sponsors. I want to thank the NYPD. Let's give it up for Dr. Bob Lee. Thank Let's clap it up for all of our schools, all of our children. That's what it's all about. The future of the Bronx. We inducted four individuals to the Bronx Walk of Fame. Herman Balillo, Frankie Bell. We have with us Ed Lewis, who stayed with us to the end. As well as Joni Madden. Let's give it up for our inductees. And what we have here to end the parade. Wait, 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 before that. Let's give a big round of applause to our president, the Bronx president, Ruben Diaz Jr. And we also got to say thank you to Mother Nature for having the sun come out today. And of course, for anybody who wants a Bronx tour in our trolley, this is our trolley and it's full with all of the volunteers. We couldn't do this without volunteers. Let's clap it up. To all of the volunteers riding in our Bronx Charlie, thank you guys.
you see right in the front, this trolley is funded by the Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the festivities, enjoy the concert. Thank you all, and we'll do it again next year. Gracias. Que viva el Bronx.